What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Connor Beck, Muscle Addiction, man. If you're new to the channel and you don't know it's a vibe, make sure you stop this video right now. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. The sun is in my face. I'm getting blinded. I can't see. So y'all finna have to bear with me. But, uh, man, this is finna be a well-awaited video. Um, really an update on the car. If y'all can hear when I say the car, give y'all a little sound. Yeah, well, y'all know what I'm buying. But anyway, this is just gonna be a quick update. There's been something that uh, I've been waiting to do for this car. For those that's been watching the channel, y'all know. So, uh, this is gonna be also, you know, a little review and for people that, uh, that's been inquiring about this modification that I'm gonna show y'all right now. But without further ado, y'all let me know what y'all think. So yeah, man, show y'all them little clips of that right there. But man, I got me a Z01 conversion kit on the front, man. Like I say, I've been talking about this for a minute now. Like I say, y'all, like I say again, for the people that do know, like I said, this ain't nothing new. I've been talking about this for a really good little minute. Like I said, this is something that I've been really wanting to do just cause I like the way uh, this, this the front end looks just way more aggressive than the SS front bumper or whatever. As y'all can tell, I already put my uh, emblems in. So I got those in. Probably finna have to go and touch them up, make sure they're good, because they look like they trying to come off. But, and then put some 3M tape on there. But uh, yeah, see, so I got it on here. Uh, I don't know if, if it's zoomed out enough for y'all, but uh, yeah. As far as the um, fit and finish goes, I'm gonna show y'all what most of people, you know, kind of skeptical about on these is how they fit, the fitment on it, and what you know my take is on it and stuff like that. But uh, just off off top, man, you know, I give it a 10, 10 out of ten. I mean, you know what? I say a nine out of ten. I'm not even gonna give it the full ten, and I'm I'm saying that because I'm being a stickler. Like, you know, the way this is, it could have been shaved down a little bit better. Like, I, I'm I'm really just finding stuff to to point out or whatever. But all the gaps look really good on it all the way around. All the gaps look good. Uh, a heads up though, I'm gonna give y'all some insight. You know, for ones that's been uh, in, you know inquiring about getting this bumper or whatever and I'm gonna put the link in the description where I got this one from because I don't know about all the rest of the bumpers but this one right here specifically mine came with uh, with a different grill up in here and also like I'm just gonna call them like an eyelid or whatever but they, they go up under the headlight but I was wondering why, you know, why they came with that because uh, it didn't match my headlights or whatever. So, you know, I was wondering, like, dang, did they send me the wrong one? Uh, oh, it's also got the tow hook cover on there, too, as y'all can see. But, yeah, I was just wondering. I was just like, man, like, what the heck? Like, why well, I got all these extra parts? But it comes to find out that this particular bumper fits 
all six generation models and it comes with the things to make it work for the newer models because as y'all know the headlights on the newer models on like the two SS's or whatever they kind of thin right here and then they get bigger and so that's pretty much what that eyelid is is to um is to cover up that gap in there so it won't be looking ugly and dingy and then the other grill that it came with was for to match those eyelets because it had like a bolt hole in there anyway this one is like the updated kit i highly advise everybody that is uh wanting to go with this to get this uh newer model because it just it just it fit really good i say uh, it gives me ability to to actually have cooler like cooler air to my auxiliary coolers and stuff because i mean if y'all don't know the ss bumper they are blocked off right here and this actually opens it up so that air can get through there and stuff on both sides so uh i have noticed uh cooler temperatures for sure so uh so y'all up under whatever i said it look good man i know some of the conversion bumpers kind of look dingy you know but this one looks okay give me a quick thumbnail for y'all Gotta get a good thumbnail for y'all, but yeah, like I say, this is uh, this is what's what's going down right here, man. This is what's going down. This is what's going down. Actually, what's crazy is as I'm recording this video, and I know y'all already kind of guessing, like, or you know, wondering, like, dang, why is the bumper a totally different color? Well. It came primer, well, you know, ready to paint. So I'm gonna get it painted, and the body shop, the body shop guy, literally just ended up calling me back just now. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick update. I'm gonna have another video coming uh, after this, kind of giving y'all another update on the car and why we got this dingy wheel on the back. So. Uh, right now that's all i got for y'all i'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about these bezels and the grill and what the issues i had in with that or whatever but uh just giving y'all a quick walk around for now all right now as far as these uh bezels and the grills go whenever you get your bumper or whatever it's going to be best obviously to and on the way to to do it is is to install it with the bumper off and i'll you know the this this bezel piece the grill the lower grill the uh, upper grill you know is on that one right there those uh you're gonna have to put in from the back side of the bumper and when i tell you it's gonna take some massaging and some patience it's gonna be just that because uh it took a lot of, of just, I, I'm just gonna say forearm and muscle strength just to get them clipped in and just like, just that right there, the forearm strength. Cause I mean, I had to use both my hands to try to pull it together and just a, a heads up. If, you know, and it, it's, I'm not gonna be able to show y'all with it on, uh, but there's gonna be some uh, clips that, that, you know, go through some holes. As long as the clip goes through and snaps in, that's all you need to worry about because once it snaps in it's gonna give you this flush look you go you're gonna want it just like this that's how you're gonna want it if it's any other gap other than this then y'all not gonna like it y'all just not oh i already got a lot of rod chips on this and stuff oh man a lot of rock chips so that's that's what that is i mean that was really the only issue that i had with this it's just uh finessing those bezels in there and, and stuff like that this really uh this is really sturdy but this snaps in too but you can put this on uh 
after you put the uh the, the grills in and stuff but that's also going to take some uh some pushing in but once everything is in it's in y'all like this is like secure it's sturdy like it and it's just as uh sturdy as my last one and a heads up too you are going to need to purchase uh your own fog lights because they didn't come with the bumper so i'll leave in the link in the description where i got those fog lights too pretty cheap i wasn't finna go spend no no whole bunch of money on the oem set i just didn't feel like that made sense so this is what i did but um but yeah that's pretty much all i got for y'all man um i really don't know what this is for i mean to be honest with you i'm a um probably leave it right there because i feel like it's it's a funnel to like direct air in there so and i don't even know if the zeal ones actually have that on there well, i'm pretty sure they don't but i'm gonna leave that right there i don't care how dingy it looks but i feel like it's a more direct path to go in there you know so i'm gonna leave that in there y'all i said uh uh after i drop this video and you know some time transpires and gives me time to paint the bumper uh in the meantime in between then i'm gonna go ahead and uh show y'all what happened to the car or whatever you know but that's all i got for y'all so i hope everybody doing good at the time of me recording this video most of gang we don't reach 600 subscribers yo it's not a thousand but like that's another milestone that's another hundred like y'all just don't understand how how much that like it excites me because it you know it makes me feel like everything that i'm doing ain't for nothing like you know I, i'm actually seeing some progress you know for my channel and stuff like that and i and i said in my last video that the channel been going for for two years it's actually been going for like three four years so i mean it's, it's don't come overnight i mean for some people it do but you know it still took me a, a, a pretty good little while and you know a, a lot of that is due to because i don't post like that but hey you gotta get it in where you can get in, in you but yeah that's what we got man like i said i'm gonna get ready and close out this video man oh i don't got my mounts or nothing like that this is just a quick little video right when i get off work or whatever so i ain't gonna be able to get y'all no pools or nothing like that but hopefully y'all enjoying them pictures y'all know we at the spot you know what i'm saying so yeah i got chickens lights on trash can. well y'all don't mind the tractions y'all know i stay in lit mode but this right here is because my fans i'm gonna have a video on that too but i'm probably gonna take my car back into the dealership for that uh, along so they can replace the starter again and i'm gonna record that video so y'all can be with me whenever i go to the dip but this car finna need another starter so y'all just be ready because it's just gonna be another 1100 1200 that they finna you know in labor and parts that they finna have to do for this car so man i'm just ready for it to be a one to be done with but that's all I got for y'all, man. Like I say, I got the bumper. Uh, next video that I do have on it, you know, showing y'all, it will be painted. So, hey, in the meantime, y'all stay up. Y'all lock in with your boy. Y'all make sure y'all like the video, subscribe, comment, browse. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just do it all, man. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it's free. It's free. I don't ask too much. It's free. I know you a lot of y'all don't be doing that no way. So hey, just it's go put a playlist on or some. I, I ain't got no playlist, but I'm gonna come up with one. But y'all make sure y'all tune in to the channel, man. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay ganged up. Muscle gang that is. And we out. Yes, sir.